Dear father, I'm sure you know by now, I decided to leave Harvard and travel west. I hope to find a stronger purpose and more meaning in my life. Expand my understanding of the world beyond Boston. It's something that I need to do. You may not understand this, but I hope you can accept it. I will be back before winter. With love, William. Two bits extra if you want water brought up. You be here long? Not sure. Sir, do you know where I can find a J.D. McDonald? You here for business? No, sir. Well, if you follow the road to end of town, you'll see a shack. That is impressive. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Better off chopping wood. <laughs> Man, you ought to go do it yourself. Now go on and kill some more buff. Someone else will. Come back tomorrow. Then. My name is William Andrews, sir. I reckon you don't remember me, huh? If I'd remembered you, I'd have said something when you first came in. My, my father is Edward Andrews, sir. He is the minister of the Unitarian Church in Boston. We took you in about 14 years ago. You come out looking for work. Here, I, I, I saved your letters. All of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My father spoke of you often. I wasn't anyone for him to speak of. I think he admired you because you were the only man he knew who came out here and made a life for himself. Hmm. That's right. That's right. I did 400,000 buffalo hides last year, and it's just a start. I send out parties, they bring in the hides. I plan on doing my own curing and tanning right here. Do it all myself. Your father's a Harvard man. Shouldn't you be in school? I, I went, but I'm just not interested in that kind of education. You want a job. 
God knows I can't keep up. I'm already two months behind. I didn't come out here for that. I want... Well, what is it, boy? Spit it out already! I would like to see as much of the country as I can. Get to know it. Uh, maybe you could send me out with one of your hunting parties, sir. Boy, I won't be responsible. You start going out with those men, it'll ruin you. It'll get in you, like buffalo lice. You'll be rotten from the inside. I'm sorry to have bothered you, Mr. McDonald. You got it all figured out. No, sir, I, I don't have anything figured out. Hell was I. Excuse me, sir. Um, I, I believe uh, I saw you earlier today. What can I do for you? I would like to go on a hunt, sir. <laughs> Ain't no tours around here. Not a tour. A hunt. I can be helpful. I'm listening. Around the camp. I'm a rather quick study. Uh, this is Charlie Hodge. He's my camp man. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hodge. there. <laughs> Don't mind Charlie, son. It's just his idea of fun. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Francine will get the drinks. Hi. How do you do? you tie up with one of McDonald's parties. Mr. McDonald and I don't see it the same way. McDonald's a crook. We do the work, he takes all the money. I work for myself or I don't work. I really don't work for nobody. Things are changing around here. Used to be you could get a thousand head in just a couple of weeks of hunting. Now the herds have scattered. It's getting hard to make a real kill. But there are still places that they can be found. 